We're going to give away a £50 voucher to spend at Golf Swing Systems. Whoever wins the closest to the pin will get to choose the subscriber that wins the, that wins the coupon. Right, we're back down here at Golf Swing Systems with Alex, and today he's going to talk us through the Trackman 4, all the little bits that come with the software, and uh, the new TPS9 software as well. Yeah, so Trackman 4 is our sort of really premium end. It's the gold standard in terms of launch monitors. Um, we're going to walk you through the on-course practice. We're going to walk you through the gaming software. Um, we're going to start by showing you the new practice range, which is acres and acres of Trackman real estate where you can practice your golf and really customize how you want to practice your game. Cool. Go in. Oh! <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna show you is the brand new TPS9 TrackMan practice range. Now, you are probably quite familiar with the TrackMan Shot Analysis Center, where yes. you get all of your data. It is looking really, really into showing what you've done with the golf swing. It's trying to show you as much data as possible. And uh, it's very much what you'll see in a golf lesson. If a coach has got, you know, if a coach has got TrackMan, they're probably gonna use the Shot Analysis Center. But Trapman have brought out this, which is the practice range, which is to try and it's trying to trim down what you get on screen in terms of data. Um, but it's also going to give you more options in terms of a creative practice experience. So on the Trapman practice range, you have the freedom to play any shot you want to any flag you want. So we've got it set here currently at 170 yard flag. And if you wanted to change where you're hitting at, you have some presets already. So you're in this position, you've got all these flags to aim at. But say, for instance, Mitch wanted to drill 160 yard seven iron over some water, but didn't quite like the look of that shot. You can pick up the ball and you can move it anywhere on this range. And I mean anywhere. You can hit from other greens. You can hit over different aspects. You really have the freedom to play golf however you want to play it, which means you're not really, you're not really hindered by what you can do. You know, yeah. you've got that freedom. It just looks awesome as well. I mean, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the water. I'm looking at the boards that go around the water, the realism of everything. It just looks stunning, doesn't it? Nice golf. Oh, hold him on the camera. <laughs> With the Trackman, Alex, like what kind of area do you have to hit? Like I'm just popping it down anywhere yeah. here. So with Trackman especially, the tolerance is quite, it, it's, it's more than you think. So if you imagine sort of like an upside down triangle, oh, right, okay. uh, it's sort of coming out from the Trackman. So the further away you go, the more tolerance there is left and right. Right, but okay. But you can go too far where it won't be able to take proper images of the ball okay. in the club. So what you normally do is we normally advise to be between 8 and 12 feet away from the Trackman, and you've got about a foot either side. This is especially good if you've got friends coming over who aren't familiar with how far away you need to be from a radar device. It still has that ability to track everything at a number of different positions because it's got that wider field of view. Great do do I need stickers on the golf club here? No. So that's one of Trackman's party pieces. Okay. Is. So the stickers on, uh, for instance, if you're using GC Quad, if you wanted impact location, you need to have those stickers on the club face so that it can measure what's happening. Yeah. But Trackman brought out something called OERT, and that is basically the radar, it's a massive Doppler radar that they're using, is now backed up by the camera in the front. And what that means is you can start hitting golf shots and it can t tell you down to the millimeter where on the club face you've hit. Wow. So you don't just, you, you don't just get club path data without the, uh, without the stickers. You even get impact location data wow. with, without the stickers. That's amazing. So there's some like, obviously, extreme features on the Trackman 4. I mean, if you're a teaching pro, then these are going to be great for you. If you're an elite golfer, these are going to be great for you because the amount of data that it obviously provides is ridiculous. Yeah, and we can look into the data quickly here. So if I just pop this even in the practice range where you're getting quite a trimmed down version of how much it's looking at, you still get a huge amount of data here. You can actually put this onto an extended screen so you can have more data showing up, which is a fantastic piece of kit. It means if you're a teaching pro with multiple screens, you could show like on one screen having the video feedback of the, of the swing, and then on another, you could have the data feedback. So yeah. you're getting so much data and then you get a nice clean image to actually hit onto. As a beginner, not a beginner golfer, as a, as a 12 handicap golfer, mm -hmm. this is like overwhelming for me, the yeah. amount of data. But like we're saying, if you're an elite golfer or a teaching pro, this is gonna be everything that you're ever gonna need to give lessons, to, to find out where you're going wrong, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and that's why they've done this practice range to try, try and trim down what you're looking at. So if we go back out of the data view, you can see on the left, we've got some key sort of variables showing already for Mitch's swing. So you've got his club head speed, his ball speed, the club path. Um, so that's what sort of, um, what path your club is taking as it hits the ball. So into out, out to win, all that type of stuff. Smash factor, which is a, a measure of sort of uh, efficiency. Yeah. So 1.33, 1.33, 1.33, 1.33. 
that means the ball speed was 1.33 times as fast as your as your clubhead speed. Right. Now, the course. higher that number, the more efficiently you hit the there. ball. And, and you can customize all these tiles that yeah. display. Yeah, all you have to do is go into that data view I showed you. So click here. Say you wanted to take out the curve, and instead you wanted to pay attention to your face to path number. Just click it in. It's really, really yeah, simple. Yeah. And that's the real strength of TPS9 that they've brought in, is how easy it is to interact with it. Yeah, it looks like the, the user interface is, is just so smooth. It's so smart. I really like it. And yeah. obviously, the graphics are insane as well. So let's get you hit some longer shots. See you hit driver. Yeah. How wide's this fairway? Um, <laughs> not as wide as the one for the long drive. <laughs> There we go, 199 <laughs> carry, there we go, mate. <laughs> That's more like what we were expecting on the long drive. <laughs> so one of the new things TPS9 has brought out is actually the ability to better manipulate extendable screens. So as okay. you can see, we've got multiple screens here, um, and it's basically just show this function. So when Mitch hits a shot, if you want to go ahead and hit a driver. Nice spank. Oh, yes. Nice one so far, lovely. So as you can see, Mitch has hit his drive, the data is now loading. It's basically working out what happened to the ball. He's hit it 252 right down the middle and you can see all his data pops up here. You've got things like club path, you've got spin rate, and you can go into that if you want to and just change what you're seeing on that screen. But it's a nice way to get a clean image of what your data is showing and what's actually happening on camera as well. Yeah, I've had um, a couple of lessons with Matt up at a Bolton Golf Club, uh, my mate, and uh, he uses Trapman 4, and uh, I just need him to talk me through all of that because yeah. I don't know what it's on about. But <laughs> but one thing to note, actually, is if you went to, if you ended up buying a Trapman, um, you actually get a day's training with a Trapman rep. Oh, do you? So they, yeah, so you get a Trapman, and they send a guy out to tell you what everything means and how to use it That's and how to awesome, go through yeah. your data. So they... It's one of those things you get with that extra, because it's more, it's more money yeah. than a standard launch monitor. You do get that extra service. So yeah, some good customer service. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Love. So the next thing we're going to show you is if you get a little bit bored of being on the practice range, it's pretty difficult to get bored in that practice yeah. range. But if you, get a, if you want to see something a little bit different or you want to practice a particular shot on a golf course, you can use Trapman's new on-course practice feature. Awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up the 18th tee shot on St. Andrews. And what you can do, rather than having to just play the hole over and over again, you can drill that one shot. Can you, just, can you show me the 17th? Well, you can show you the 17th, yeah, for sure. It, uh, oh, you um, want to go over the hotel? Yeah. Yeah, the 17th works well, yeah. If anyone's seen my, uh, my vlogs of uh, my, my, my Open on the Simulator Golf Tour, then yeah, I, I put a couple into that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see how, how good the detail is. And you're back on the championship tees here, so it's a pretty tricky shot. Oh, nice. You've got about 250 carry to get over the hotel over what? that line. <laughs> But what you can do, rather than having to play the full hole, is you hit your shot and it'll take you back to the tee so that you can drill it and get better and better. So my target line here, Alex, is the 257. 257, yeah, okay. and the 437 is the, is the pin. Yes, right, okay. Yeah. It's a nice golf shot. Draw. It's drawing. Go on, get over there. Go. Go. <laughs> oh, oh I'll golf take shot. <laughs> so the, the thing for uh, Mitch to bear in mind is, though, this is the practice, so that doesn't count for anything. Oh, no. <laughs> and it's taken him straight back to the tee, so he's got to hit it again. But you can really drill your drives here, looking at a really interesting shot. It's just a nice way to get your practice a little yeah, bit more varied. Yeah, awesome. I mean, just at any sort of famous golf... I love playing famous golf courses uh, mm. on the sim. Yeah, and I mean, Trapman's got over 180 courses, and they're all tour venues now. So you've got, you've got so much choice to, to choose from. Do you, you have can, to pay yeah. for those? So you get... Uh, there is an annual subscription to Trapman. When, right, you buy, okay. uh, when you buy when you buy the unit, you get your first year free, and then you have to pay a little bit more to to continue using it. But you can then also, up on top of those 180, there are some that are like premium golf courses. For instance, Pebble Beach yeah, is yeah. one that's not included with the original thing, and okay. you can buy that golf course very similarly to how you can on Foresight. You get yes. some included, and you can buy some more. Uh, with Trackman, you do get obviously a, a lot of golf courses included, so we very rarely get people asking to buy more. How much is that yearly subscription? Do you know. I believe it's in the region of £700. Right, I'll have okay. to double check. We can put that up on screen. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Right, it's awesome. But well, you, you get the first year free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the first year free. That's decent, yeah. So the next thing we've got to show you is really what Trapman is best known for, and that's its course simulation. So it is, it really it's the best course simulation on any launch monitor at good. the moment. Um, the graphics are fantastic. We just popped, him on the, uh, popped you on the first uh, hole at Crown Cercier in Switzerland. Um, so it's a pretty tight first hole. It's par five. You've got to hit a nice drive down the middle and you've got a pretty tight approach shot as well. So Thanks, we'll see mate. what you can get. Give me a nice one to start. Yeah, see if, yeah. See if you can get a birdie. So uh, I'm just going to come at this out from um, 
I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it like I'll be playing my home golf simulator at home and I'll yep. have a look at aiming and stuff like that. So I can head over. Um, can I do a flyover of the hole? How do I do that? You can indeed. So all you need to do is press this little drone here in the corner and you just do a little flyover. And That's that'll take cool. you through the entire hole all the way up. So you're going to be landing in around this left-hand ridge here. So you want to be aiming up the left-hand side. Yeah. That's where the aim is. You see the target? Cool. And then you've got the green all the way up there. I'd awesome. be surprised if you get there into it. It's a long, long way. I won't get there into it. It is a long, long way. Right, so I'm just going to aim. Let's try and aim for the centre of the fairway. Let's put it at 260. Right, there's my target line, the 264 on there. Don't go in the trees on the left. Oh, I nicely blindsided myself behind the trees. That's good. Let's see how this works. Ah, oh, that's good. I like that. It shows me a marker of where I'm aiming as long as I, well, when I'm dragging it out of here. So I can see, I reckon I could probably hit a low one, 90 yards, still be on the fairway, and I'll have a 184 approach. That'll do. Right, 206. Little hybrid. Settle. It's a beast. Settle. <laughs> Settle. No, wow. you're a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, seven with a hybrid. What a club that is. <laughs> so you went out of bounds into someone's garden. You hit, you hit a poor Swiss lady sat in a garden. <laughs> Be sure that's a hybrid, that Cleveland. It comes out hot, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, five iron, 206. Great part. Oh, yes. I'll take that for a double. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's cool. I really like that. I love the graphics. I love the ease of use. I just love the gameplay. That's decent. So the next thing I'm going to show you is TPS 9's new games. Now, Trapman has always had games. The, one of the most popular ones is one called Magic Pond. You've probably heard of it. Like You're playing kind of yeah. like Capture the Monster. It's a little, a little bit like Pokemon. You've got to kind of hit different yarded shots. It's great for kids. But Trackman wanted to bring out a, a game that appeals to kids and adults as well. Okay. So they've brought out one called Neon Streets or Streets of Neon. It's a uh, futuristic putt-putt simulator. Uh, now it's got everything from sort of hazards to people that throw your ball away to, uh, <laughs> hon honestly, it's, it's fantastic. So it's yeah. like uh, just a, a crazy mini golf, is it? Yeah, it's oh, awesome. honestly, it's mental. You'll see, it's fantastic. It's like the Matrix. <laughs> All right, so that's my hole. Yeah. Distant or oh, 52 feet, I was just about to say. Wow, that's a long putt. Oh. Oh. This is crazy. Imagine this takes some getting used to. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, you've got to go down the tube on the left or on the right. Do you reckon that slime's going to. Oh, right, it here we go. slows you. Yeah, the slime it slows, slows us you down. down. Yeah. 88 feet away the hole, so I'm going to smash this. Get in. Oh, you are joking me. You're going to have to right, absolutely smash, smash it. it. Get in. Oh, what a putt. First hole is just practice. I imagine that if you've got kids, that they're going to absolutely love this. If you just want a bit of fun, or if you want to justify it to your missus of why you should spend this much money on a launch monitor, this could be a reason why. I'm assuming it's not really going to improve your game much. No, but no, that's bit, not for putting practice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit of fun, like say, if you've got young kids in the house or you just want a bit of a laugh with your mates, that's decent, I like that. Cool. So we've just shown you what you can do if you're looking for a little bit of fun, but if you're looking to really improve your game, one of the best ways you can do that is with their Tracy system. Now, Tracy is an AI coaching platform within the TrackMan. Wow. So what we're going to do, we're going to get Mitch to hit about 20 golf shots, uh, and it will start to analyse his swing and what he's doing with the golf ball and tell him where he can improve it. So you're going to see the optimal uh, stats for the stat that it thinks you can improve best. So say your swing path is a little bit too over the top, yeah. it'll start to say, okay, you want to be within a couple of degrees of neutral, and then it will give him a drill to work on. So you'll have actually a drill to work on and improve your swing in real time. Sounds amazing. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So right, so there's 20 shots, I'm just hitting one club all the way through. Uh, you can do multiple clubs, but it's, it's best if you do one club. Right, yeah. So Mitch has hit his 20 shots. 
Tracy actually already kicked in after about eight shots there. So Mitch has evidently got quite a consistent swing. But one of the things that's worked out is the trajectory of your shots is actually over professional levels. So how the ball wow. is launching is fantastic, which means you don't have to change too much with the makeup of your clubs or the makeup of your swing. So that's this bit. Yeah, yeah so 92 is a fantastic score. It's actually the highest I've seen. <clears throat> um, but the precision, so that's basically how <laughs> accurate your shots are, that dropped off a little bit towards the end. So you're down to about 67 there. So what we're going to be able to do is we can look into the insight. That's basically the optimal conditions for the golf shot. So you can see Mitch's shot shape is well within that optimal for optimal um, region. His optimal numbers for his swing speed. Are, so he's actually carrying it slightly further than optimal, which is great. What we can look into here, if we go into what to improve, Tracy is actually going to give him a drill to work on. So what, the, what Tracy is telling him to do is to work on his face angle. So that means the shots that you're pushing out right aren't because your club path has changed or anything mm. like that. It's because you're leaving the face angle. See, open. that's interesting, right? Because the last golf lesson that I've had with Matt up at Bolton Golf Club, he says exactly the same thing. He says, my, my club face is yeah. just off and that's the thing that I need to control. So that's quite good that yeah. the computers spotted that as well. Yeah, so it backs up what the pro's saying. And also, that's one of the things we do like to stress is Trackman will never, you know, any launch mode you get will never <coughs> quite replace a golf professional. But Trackman is getting to the point where it's starting to give you some data so that your, your practice can be really driven by data. So, right. so what, what is that showing that my club face is doing? So it's, it, all it's showing here is working on the face angle can increase your trajectory by three points and okay. your precision by five points. Right, okay. So for your, uh, for your swing is you want the face angle to be open by 1.3 degrees. Okay, right. So... And the region is between 1.3 and 1.8 closed. Right. So, you've, so got a good, yeah, you've got a good region here. So if we start hitting some shots. So I'm just closing my grip a little bit here. Closing the face a little bit. See what happens. I hit it fat, that's what happens. So, so what you can see there, close. yeah, so you overclose that. So you're outside of the optimal range. Yeah. So you are closed by 4.3 degrees there. That felt better. There That's we go. fantastic. There you go. So you can see that is an optimal shot. And it'll tell you that. And that means you can have some really focused practice yeah. and really improve your golf swing quickly. So I guess you can kind of, the way that I look at this as not a professional golfer is I can ingrain these habits into my, into my game. And then hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit better at golf. That felt a bit open. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was exactly right, it's slightly open, just outside that optimal range. I, I absolutely love that, Tracy, the, the virtual coach and analyst of, the, of my golf swing. I mean, that, that is cool. Um, I could have practiced that shot there, closing my club face for as many times as I wanted. Um, and just, like I said, ingrained that into my swing. And uh, yeah, I just think that's an amazing feature of the Trackman 4. So obviously we did a giveaway with your Foresight video last month where uh, Mitch managed to uh, swindle me out of 106 quid to you guys. Got you a great deal there. Yeah, yeah, I drive at 250 yards, he <laughs> smacks one 306 <laughs> down the middle. Uh, so this time we're going to cap the giveaway a little bit, but we're going to give away a £50 voucher to spend at Golf Swing Systems. Whoever wins the closest to the pin will get to choose the subscriber that wins the, that wins the coupon. To enter this competition to win a £50 Golf Swing Systems voucher, you must leave a comment below this video with the words Handicap Golf. You must also subscribe to the Handicap Golf YouTube channel and follow both Handicap Golf and Golf Swing Systems over on Instagram. I'll put all the links that you need in the description below this video. Okay. I'm just going to say, before we do this, what are you playing off, Al? Uh, plus one. Plus one, and I'm playing <laughs> off 11. Mitch is going to go first. Uh, so he's going to hit, he's hitting at the second hole at Wentworth. So it's 150, oh, 148 yards for this pin. Go. Go. Looks pretty good. It looks very good. Oh, not bad. It's a great it's first shot. Nine yards away. Oh, that's a bit right. Ooh. Oh, terrible. It's definitely a little bit of space inside that nine yards. <laughs> a little bit of space there. Shocking, Mitch. Oh, here he is. Settle. Settle. Oh, oh it's inside, pretty close, inside I think. nine. Oh, oh, mate, it took him one shot, one shot. Well, that's a £50 voucher well for you guys. Yeah, well, well played. Done.
So, and uh, yeah, we'll announce that at the end of February. So the last day of February, we'll get in touch and we'll do a little joint video call so that you guys can win your voucher. If you're getting value out of this video, then please support the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing to Handicap Golf. For more invaluable home golf simulator advice, click on the video that's on the screen right now.